Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna go over how to actually set up and use the basic hand poke tattoo kit, how to get your tool set up with our popsicle sticks, how to create a safe workable area, and actually do a small little hand poke tattoo smiley face on our little practice silicone skin here. First and foremost, we're always going to get our self as clean and sterile as possible. I always recommend washing your hands first before even putting on these gloves. Next, we wanna get our station that we're gonna work on and put our tools on, ready to go, safe, clean, and sterile. First, setting up my workstation. This is gonna be where I technically will put all of my tools, all my items that I'll use. Next, let's do the more important part of getting our tool set up. This is the most important part. So, we're gonna take one of our popsicle sticks, and you'll see this is a standard wooden tongue depressor popsicle stick. So I'm gonna take one of our 9RL needles. You'll see it's all safely and securely packaged, completely sterile. Never ever use the same needle twice, always use a new sterile needle. So you'll see, here's the tool. It's got the little ring on top for our standard tattoo machine, but this is gonna be what we do to set this tool up for our do-it-yourself hand poke tattoo tool. You'll wanna to set the tool onto the popsicle stick, and you'll see there's a part that is the actual needle that's almost welded or adhered onto the actual shaft of the needle. Basically, that's gonna be the part that should be sticking off at the very bottom of the tool. All right, so you don't need the thing to be like this. You don't want it to be just a needle off the tip. You want basically that one inch stick off, off the actual popsicle stick or whatever item you're gonna wrap the tool around. I like to do two laps or two areas that I actually wrap around the tool. And this is just gonna be to make sure that my needle is not gonna move, slide around. It's gonna be nice and secure. But it's not overly comfortable, right? We wanna make sure that this is as comfortable of a grip as possible, especially if you're doing a more intricate or a longer hand poke tattoo make it comfortable. So I'm gonna put that to the side for a sec. Now what we need to do is get our ink and our ink cup ready to go. So you'll see, like this, the ink cup isn't exactly stationary or safe. It can slide around, or the worst is if it tips, you spill all your ink, you gotta start all over with the ink. It's not fun, big mess. Here's how we avoid that. You're gonna take your A and D ointment, and you're gonna take the bottom of your ink cup. You're gonna slide it, across the bottom and you're gonna get just a little bit of that ointment on the bottom of the actual ink cap. You're gonna take that, you're gonna compress it down to the area where you want your cup to be and you'll see it works basically as some sort of securing mechanism but it keeps that cup from knocking over, from sliding around. It's now nice, safe and secure in that spot. This doesn't come with the basic kit, it comes with some of our accessory kits and it comes with our super premium kit but this is a tattoo practice skin, it's a silicone skin, it's got the thickness basically that you can use to do different designs or practice your tattooing on, not only for hand poke tattooing, but for regular tattooing as well. Highly recommend to do a couple practice runs on a silicone skin before you go onto a real human canvas. So what we gotta do first before we draw into the tattoo skin is we gotta make sure the canvas is clean and clear. If you're on a completely hairless canvas, great, good job. You don't have to worry about shaving, but just to kind of show you guys what these are, shaving cream, shaving blade, Take the plastic piece off, so you know it's sterile, not been used. Take a little bit of the shaving cream, put it over my little canvas area that I wanna shave. Take your blade, shave off the excess hair. So what we're gonna do here, as you've seen with some of these other designs, we're gonna do a quick little smiley face. So I'm gonna take our marker, which you'll see is also sterile, cleanly packed. Again, it comes with the malleable ruler, so in case you wanna draw over curved areas, you have the ability to do that. The marker itself actually also has measurements on there in uh, centimeters, a half a millimeter fine point, and it has a one millimeter thick point. For this hand poke tattoo, we're just gonna use the fine point because it's a small little smiley face. We're gonna do it right here, dead center of the skin. And you'll see I'm just gonna do two little dots and a smiley. And now we gotta get our ink filled into our actual ink cup. So you're gonna take your Thomas Black outline ink and what you need to do is you need to fill this ink up at least halfway. All right, so now I have my soapy water solution to my side over here. I have my backup wipe off paper towel ready to go. I have my tool ready to go. My canvas has been shaved. We're all clean, we're sterile, we're ready to go. I'm gonna take my tool. We're gonna do a couple quick pokes to get the smiley face done. So again, you're dipping your tool into the ink, making sure to dip it far enough that the tips of the needle actually get deep enough to hold ink. And typically every five to 10 pokes is gonna be when you're gonna to need to re-dip your tool into the ink to get more ink to deposit. 
And again, you're gonna get close. You typically use your fingers to stretch out the skin canvas to create a nice, clean, high tension surface to start doing some pokes. And when you go to poke, you're not gonna look directly over where you can't see the needle. Hold the tool and the needle at roughly a 45 degree angle. That way you can see exactly where the needle's tip is when you go to press it into the actual skin, or in this case, the silicone canvas. Get close, make sure you're knowing exactly where you're pressing. And take your time here, there's no rush. This is permanent. And really do a good job of trying to connect every single poke with the previous poke before it. I like to at least go over the outline at least one time in full, obviously wiping in between depending on the size of the actual design. And then once I've done the full first outline, I'll go back and relook at it and see exactly where I've got great connection, where my lines are clean, where they're not clean, and what I need to clean up. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm wiping off the excess ink, which you can see there. And now what you'll see from my first go is it's actually not that bad. It's not my first rodeo, but you can see I got a nice little line, clean, consistent, and I got the little poke dots right there, pretty solid. Again, what I'm gonna do now is just to make sure that my line work is nice and clean and proper. I'm gonna go over it one more time. This is a smaller tattoo, it's about all you need. Okay, so now let's say that the tattoo's all done, you're happy with your connections, you're happy with your line work, you're ready to go. Now what you need to do to basically get to the healing process ASAP is you're gonna take your tattoo A and D ointment and you're gonna put a nice little thin film of ointment over the actual tattoo and give it enough where there's enough of an ointment on top to give it a layer for it to heal. And basically you're gonna put this ointment on your tattoo three to five times a day for at least five to seven days. Typically smaller hand poke tattoos heal a lot faster than bigger, larger tattoos. You won't necessarily see scabbing like you do with bigger tattoos, but more or less, once you get to that phase where you got the line work done, you got the ointment on top, your tattoo's good to go. Now you just gotta keep it clean, let it heal, and boom, you got a hand poke tattoo. So that's all there is to it with the basic hand poke tattoo kit and setting up the basic hand poke tattoo tool. I hope you guys learned a lot here with this video. If you do have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us at the info at We're here and more than happy to help. And with that, cheers, happy tattooing.